Hey everyone, I'm Sharkadearth. This is Elder Scrolls Online. The uh, NDA was lifted recently, apparently, for the most part, and I have been in three beta tests so far, so I thought I would talk a little about the parts of the game that I enjoyed the most. Now, for the most recent beta test, I got to keep my character from the one before that, because that's just how they did this one. So I didn't have to level. I'd already done all the leveling. I, I, uh, I am Ebonheart Pact. I have made a Dark Elf Sorcerer. And for the entirety of the last beta, like the one before this most recent one, I was a damage dealer, but for this last weekend's one, I decided to make it a healer. So I spent all of my new points, I think I was level 14, and I got to 18 this one, so I got four from that, and then I got a couple sky shards and did some quests, so I made a healing build. Um, and it's fun, it's great. really like the healing because there's almost no targeting, so all of the healing spells are area of effect, or um, there's this one that, it's not really an area of effect, and I'm not really sure what the range is, but it basically, it holds your staff up in the air and it shoots two beams of light, and it puts a uh, heal over time off of two people, and it hits them randomly. And according to the tooltip, it only hits allies, but it does hit you. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background, he's outside. But, um, and I really enjoy it. I really enjoy it. But, um, for this last beta, I spent 90% of my time um, doing dungeons, mostly uh, Fungal Grotto, which is uh, amazing, by the way. I love the dungeon. It's by far my favorite of the three that were in the beta tests I did, which are Fungal Grotto, <laughs> Fungal Grotto, I'm sorry, uh, the Banished Cells, and, um, I forget the last one that's, like, full of spiders. Uh, I forget what it's called. But, uh, Fungal Grotto, definitely my favorite. I have memorized the entire thing. I know where every chest and loot spawn is, and I just run around taking everything, and nobody knows anything. Nobody knows! Nobody knows that I take it, and it's great. And, um, in those, in the bags that spawn there, they're called, uh, Large Sacks. Um, they contain, they can contain crafting materials, they can contain runes, but the thing is that they can spawn, um, really rare ones, like, um, Rakuta, that is the epic enchanting material, uh, I'm not gonna go over how enchanting works, cause there's not really much there, cause there's only four rarities, and then there's just different ranks that each one makes at a different level, and then there's the different kinds, and I actually have a list here of all of them just for myself, so that I wouldn't have to research everything and fucking destroy, like, 10,000 runes to learn everything again. Um, but that doesn't matter. The enchanting is okay. I like how the enchanting works, but the actual process of making the enchants is meh. I don't care. But the enchants themselves are great, and the way it works, but making them is just boring. But I spent most of my time with the crafting doing woodworking and, uh, tailoring? I know it's not clothing, I guess. I'm gonna call it tailoring, because it's cloth. <laughs> I'm just gonna use World of Warcraft archetypes. But, um, I got my woodworking to 13, which is pretty good, since they asked you to get to 10 for the beta, and I got 3 above that, and I could barely get experience points for it after that. But... I didn't just get my woodworking to 13, I also upgraded what I can make with it, so I could make a level 18 staff. I made a level 18 healing staff out of oak, which is hard to get because you have to disenchant stuff that I got from Fungal Grotto for the oak, because you can't, you couldn't get any in the beta, because the, none spawned in the starting, in, in like the first area that you can go to, and it's the only area you were allowed in, um, I forget the name of it, the place of Ash Mountain. Um... And, yeah, I crafted myself a really nice level 18 oak healing staff, and then I proceeded to upgrade it all the way to a goddamn legendary. I got a legendary in beta. Legendary. And I have a video clip here showing my gear from beta. Uh, it has no sound. Well, it has game sound, but my microphone is muted, so 
couldn't record everything that I was saying. But I'm going to put that in right here and then go a little over my thoughts on the crafting. Because the crafting for me is the best part about the game. But I'll talk about that later. I'm going gonna, gonna to pop in the uh, the clip right here. Just me jumping around, casting some spells. It's like 30 seconds long, and then it shows you all my gear in the stats page. Okay? Okay. See you in a second. Only the finest merchandise. Now, as you can see there, I got a legendary staff, and I um, th there was a bug in the beta allowing me to create more powerful than normal uh, enchants, so I did that. That's why the enchant on it was so good. I'm pretty sure that was a epic enchant, even though I only got my uh, enchanting high enough to use blue enchants. But it was a relogging bug that made it so that sometimes when you relog, you could use enchants, uh, uh, runes of higher proficiency than you were actually trained to, which I liked. Hopefully they fix that, because it would make the game a little broken when it comes out. But I liked it for the beta, because I could make my character kind of broke. But how the whole system really works is you can craft anything in the game. Uh, like, like 90% of what you get in the game will be a dr just random drop. Like, like, say, Oak Lightning Staff of Frost. And it'll be an Oak Lightning Staff... Assuming I said lightning, I I'm talking too much to remember. But anyways, that'll have a frost enchant on it, but it could also have a bonus thing that could, say, increase your mana regen or the effect of the enchant on it. I forget which ones actually work for weapons. Cause, but you put those on them with uh, gems. Um, I forget... Oh, I know, I know. You get the research to use the gems by deconstructing a weapon or item. Now, say you have an oak lightning staff, or maple, or mahogany, or whatever, doesn't matter, um, that has a ruby on it. I forget what ruby does, I think it gives you more weapon damage, I'm not sure. Um, and you research it, it destroys that weapon, and in 24 hours, that's the base for it, 24 hours, I think you can upgrade it so it's down to like 6, um, you will be able to use a ruby on a oak lightning staff, or whatever you did. I don't know if it works for other crafting materials, but I do know that it doesn't work for other slots. So say you research ruby for iron boots. You can only use it... Um, not iron, uh, plate boots. You can only use it on plate boots, not plate chest or plate helm or anything else. Only plate boots. I don't know if it is only for certain crafting materials. Like, say you research it for iron, you can only use it on iron boots. I don't know if it's locked that far, but I do know that it is only for the same slot of the same armor proficiency. Now, besides that, there are also named items that you get off bosses or are part of sets or you get from quests. These are much better than regular items because they have base enchants on them. These base enchants are not overridden by actual player-made enchants, so you can have an item that is more powerful than a regular item. In that clip, you saw my legendary staff, my epic chest that I crafted. It came as a green, I upgraded it to an epic because it made it better. And my epic pants. The epic pants were crafted pants. I didn't craft them, I got them out of a uh, master lock chest in the fungal grotto, the one by the waterfall next to the bridge that leads you to the spider boss. If you've played better, you know what that is. Um, now, I've only found like three master chests, and that was the only epic I found in them. But besides that, um, the chest piece that is epic, I'm sure you saw that it had like 80 mana on it. Its base, when it was green, was like 20. And then I upgraded it and it became like 40 or 50 because the enchant on those items upgrades when you upgrade the item. 
unlike player made enchants. Player made enchants give you as much as the enchant says, unless it is on a shoulder pad, boots, belt, or a th and I think gloves. Those get reduced for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, there could be other slots. I'm not sure. If you see the ones on my video, because I mouse over all of my gear, there's some that have like seven max mana. If they were a different slot, they would have 15. That's just or or 12. That just they get reduced for some reason. I'm not sure why. Maybe for balancing reasons. But when you upgrade a named item, its enchant gets stronger, and you can also put a secondary enchant on it. I put mana on the chest, which is why it had so much mana. And I probably shouldn't have done that, because I had way too much mana, that's why there was a lightning bolt next to my 777 mana. Because when you have too much of a stat, it becomes overcharged, and that makes it harder and harder to get the stat higher. They did that so that you can't just stack infinite mana or health or stamina without paying attention to any of the other ones. Um, which... I, I just went for straight mana, and freaking mana reduction on spellcast, um, which was very good for a healer. Very good. I mean, I could use my AoE heal, the big one that like does like direct healing, I forget what it's called, it's like a shock wave of healing. I could use that like seven times in a row, which you would never have to do, because that thing does like 50% of player health. It's crazy, I love it. But, um, yeah. You can upgrade anything to Legendary, as far as I know. I don't think there's anything you can, but everything I found, I could upgrade all the way to Legendary. And... Named items are better. That is what I took away from the gear. Which is good. You should be able to craft really good gear. That's what I missed from WoW. The fact that you can't really craft a good gear. Sure, you can craft the gear that you get recipes from for the raids, but that's... It's not really that good, unless you're just doing normals. What I miss is back in Burning Crusade and Vanilla, when, if you had a crafting profession, you could craft gear that was best in slot until, like, the end of the expansion. Like, say, I play a warlock on World of Warcraft. I am not a tailor, so I couldn't do this, and it kind of pissed me off, because it was really good. But there was the, I think it was the Shadow Frost set during Burning Crusade, um, and it increased your shadow and frost spell damage, um, but only if you were a tailor. So, I didn't do that, because I'm an alchemist, and I was an herbalist, but now I'm an enchanter. Uh, <laughs> that, that's what I miss. Also, like, the whole blacksmith weapons you used to be able to do, they were just crazy, like, um... <sighs> what the hell are they? You, you know what I mean. If you, if you played World of Warcraft during that time period, you know what I mean. But, moving on. I like that you can craft really good gear, but I also like the fact that the best gear isn't crafted, because you can craft really good gear and be really strong, strong enough to do the things that you need to do to get the good gear. It's, it's as if you can craft a full set of normal gear in World of Warcraft, say, say normal Siege of Orgrimmar gear, but you can't craft the heroic version and you have to go do the the large raids and, like, the end game um, five-man dungeons and stuff like that to get the named items to upgrade to make your character the best it can be. I like that, because I'm the kind of person who loves to farm. I farm constantly. I farmed so much in that beta weekend that I was, I was able to get a fucking legendary weapon at level 18. It's amazing. I had a lot of help with that, because I, uh, I kept getting the wrong legendary item to upgrade, um, but I, oh, I traded a lot and bought a lot and sold a lot and I, I, I got it. I got the legendary. Um, I don't think I've gone over how the actual upgrading works. Let's say you have... I'm going to use Oak Lightning Staff again. So let's say you have a white, regular Oak Lightning Staff, level 18. You need to use... Um, I can't remember what the name of the green one is. They're resins for wood. All of them are different ones. There, there's pitch or something for fucking woodworking. Uh, there's resin for wood, and then there's embroidery. Embroidery is the blue one. I forget what the actual name of the thing is. Stitching, I guess, for cloth. And there's other ones, I'm sure. But anyways, for wood, 
you need to use five base green ones to upgrade that to green. You get 20% per one you use, and if it fails, you don't have the item anymore. It gets destroyed. Which is why it took me so long to get the legendary, because I didn't want to fucking risk a 95% chance again and have my epic be disenchanted. Because that happened to me three times. Three times I had a 90% chance and it got destroyed. No. No thank you. But, um, yeah. So, it's five, and then you need ten... I think. I think it's 10 for blue. And then in, I believe you need also 10 or 15, I'm not sure, for epic. And then need, you need 20 for legendary. Which doesn't sound that bad, but it's very hard to get that many. It takes a very long time. Like, like I said, it's, I, I spent fucking three and a half days just to get it for one item. I love it. But there's also... Um, talents you can put into the professions that make that easier. Uh, it's a three-point system. The first point is, I believe, at ten uh, rank of the crafting, and that reduces the cost of upgrading an item by, I believe, 33%? About that? Uh, it, it increases it by about 33%, but like, like, the chance. So it decreases the number of materials. Say, um, for Legendary, I said, you need 20 of the... I think it's a Rosen to upgrade it to Legendary for wood? Yeah, it's Rosen. Uh, and, and Mastic for Epic. And you... One second, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of the words that, I'm, that I need to say. Um, you need 20 to upgrade it from Epic to Legendary without a point in that. But with one point in that, you only need 14. It takes off six of the needed, which is about a third? About a third. Maybe a little less. Um, and then you can put two more points in it. I think when you max everything out, and you get all three points in that, then it costs five all the way. Five green, five blue, five epic, and five legendary, and then you have a legendary. Which is great. Um, I'm not going to do that on my main character. I'm going to make two characters. One is going... Well, I might make more than two, because I might want to try the other classes, but I know that my main character, to start off with, is going to be a sorcerer, maybe a healer, maybe a damage dealer, I do like healing, healing is definitely going to be my off spec, because I, I enjoy it, it's fun, way more fun than healing in World of Warcraft, I hate it, um, but then I'm going to have a secondary character that I'm going to, I'm just going to freaking pound that out to get it to max level as, pos as fast as possible, because it is going to be my character that I do all of my professions on. I'm not going to put any points in professions on my other characters, except to get the daily um, mail-in thing. I will level the professions, don't get me wrong, I'll level them, but I'm not going to put any points into it, except to get the, um, the worker, because uh, there's a thing you can put a point into that uh, has, like, random NPC mail you some materials for that profession every day. Every, once every 24 hours. I'm gonna put points into that, because come on, it's free shit, I'm not gonna not do that. It's worth it for three points, because uh, then you get max level stuff, I'm pretty sure. This I'm pretty sure it's three points. Um, yeah, it's good. I'm gonna have a crafting guy, and then my regular guys. And I believe that will work. I believe there's some high-level epics that are bind on pickup. But almost all items in the game are not. All quest items are bind on equip, so you can sell them or trade them, or say say you get a level 50 blue from a quest, it will be bind on equip, so you can mail it to your crafting alt, upgrade it to a legendary, and mail it back. Done and done. You have a really good item that you didn't have to put any points into to get a really good, much better item. I like it. I like the crafting system. It I I am the kind of person that loves crafting very much in video games. Like in Skyrim, as soon as I make a character in Skyrim, the first thing I do is go grind enchanting and blacksmithing. It takes me not very much time. Not very much time at all. Cuz what I do I don't know if it works anymore, because I, I have a really old version, because I don't update it. That, uh... I'm not going to explain it. I'm not going to explain it. If you've played Skyrim, you know. Probably. I don't, I don't care. 
I've been talking for a long time, and I'm rambling. I've gone over the points that I wanted to. Not gonna make the video go on much longer. Because I already showed the clip that I wanted to, talked about the points I wanted to. Just gonna say, I'm very excited for this game, and I cannot wait. If you want to hang out in the game when it comes out, send me a message. We can hang out, we can do a dungeon, we can craft some stuff, we can farm, I don't care. I like the game, maybe I'll join your guild. If you have good stuff in the freaking guild bank that I can buy. Well, guild store, not guild bank. You can't buy stuff from the guild bank, you just take it. Anyways, I have been Sugar Dearth. This has been the login screen for Elder Scrolls Online. Beta. Beta's not live right now, so I just have it open so that I'm not talking to a Blake screen. And, yeah, I have been Sugar Dearth. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, and the fact that I got a legendary, please like, share, subscribe. Don't favorite, because why would you? I don't favorite. Don't favorite stuff. That's dumb. And yeah, leave a comment. If you have anything to say, good or bad, whatsoever, please leave a comment. I read all of them. See you next time. I already said that. Bye.